Welcome to Kitech Technologies Private Limited. This is the demo of DPCM and ADPCM Modulation and Demolition Trainer Kit ADCD07. This trainer board has inbuilt power supply. It has onboard clock generator which generates frequency of 64 kHz, 128 kHz, 256 kHz and 512 kHz which can be selected with the help of jumper JP1. These are generated from a crystal of 2.08 MHz frequency. It has onboard sine generator which generates sine wave of fixed frequency 500 Hz and amplitude variable from 0 to 5 volt. It has onboard buffer. A circuit for onboard DPCM modulation and DPCM demodulation. DPCM modulation consists of sampler, quantizer, line interface and line predicted and DPCM demodulation consists of line interface, summer and linear predictor. It has onboard filter to get the filtered output. The sampling frequency provided with this is 16 kilohertz. Onboard quantization error block to measure the quantization error. Onboard ADPCM modulation and ADPCM demodulation block. Now we will perform the following experiments on this trainer. We will see the experiment of DPCM modulation and demodulation. For that make the connection as connect 500 Hz sine wave from sine generator to input of buffer output of buffer to input of DPCM modulation then connect first channel of the CRO at sine wave and ground to ground and second channel of the CRO at sampler out now switch on the trainer. See the waveform on CRO. Now we'll check this waveform with respect to the sampling clock. Which is 16 kilohertz. When the sampling clock is high, the signal will get sampled and when it is low, the signal will get hold. This is the output of sampler. As we change the input modulating amplitude, the sampler output will change. Now connect first channel at sign and second channel at predicted output to see the predicted output. Now change the modulating input voltage and predicted output will change. Keep the modulating signal at around 1 volt. Now connect the predicted output second channel of the CRO at DPCM out to check the DPCM modulation. As we change the input modulating signal frequency and amplitude the amplitude changes and modulating signal also changes. Now check the waveform of predicted out with respect to DPCM out. As the input voltage changes, the predicted output and DPCM modulation also changes accordingly. Now connect DPCM out to input of DPCM demodulation connect first channel 
at input and second channel at dpcm dmod output this is the demodulated signal it contains some noise to remove this noise we will connect the demodulated output to input of filter connect second channel at output of filter and first channel at input now change the sine wave modulating voltage and check the output this way we have completed the demo of dpcm modulation and dpcm demodulation now we will see how to measure the quantization error experiments for that remove all the connection connect sign generator 500 out at input of buffer connect output of buffer to input of dpcm now connect output of buffer at input 1 of quantization error and predicted output from dpcm modulation to input 2 of quantization error now connect one channel at input sign generator and second channel at output of quantization error and ground of both to the ground now check the waveform on cro as we change the input modulating signal voltage the quantization error will change now change the clock generator frequency from 512 kilohertz to 256 kilohertz and check the changes on quantization error now change again to 128 kilohertz now 166 now 64 kilohertz from that we can observe that as the clock generator frequency decreases the quantization error increases thus we have seen the experiment of quantization error now we will see other experiments adpcm modulation and demodulation for that remove all the connection connect sign generator output at input of buffer output of buffer at input of adpcm modulation output of adpcm modulation to input of adpcm demodulation now connect first channel of the cro at input of sign generator and second channel at adpcm modulation output and ground to ground now check the waveform on cro now vary the modulating voltage to get the difference on dpcm adpcm modulation press the reset switch if you don't get the dpcm adpcm modulation now change the jumper from 512 kilohertz and keep it at 256 kilohertz and check the effect of that on adpcm modulation again at 64 kilohertz
where is the input modulating voltage now connect second channel of the CRO at A DPCM demodulation yes, now check the waveform on CRO A DPCM comparison A DPCM yes. 